out magnet fishing down at not that you can see it down at the uh collie bridge again all the way down there for some reason the whole middle of the bridge has no lights the two ends have got it we've managed to get a big street sign and uh another big pole as you can see down there street sign and a big pole got them out of the water all full of snags and then if we go back over here we've also managed to pull out a big bolt which we think is from the uh, old jetty that used to be across here a pair of brand new scissors give Digby a haircut nice uh, what we think is another big long bolt that goes through the big poles there's these big giant poles here this one we don't know it's a uh, squashed piece of pipe but in an oval sort of shape so it could be like an exhaust off a little scooter or something like that not too sure with that one this one was in a whole pile of crud uh, it's a piece of angle so i reckon that's going to be a gusset uh, put it into a nine degree mounting and yes even an old boot well not that old it stinks to high heaven but being rubber you wouldn't think you get it but steel cap picked it up on the steel cap and dragged it out from underneath the jetty and then we got this which is hooks to the magnet but it's rubber i'm thinking it might be a um like a hydraulic hose which has got metal braiding inside the actual rubber so that's what we found so far and then in the bucket there's all the cruddy bits bits of wire and stuff like that nice chain and I don't know, a piece of wire of no idea but yeah and then all the cruddy bits oh there is actually a um I wonder if I can find it there is a earring in here as well there's an allen key nice allen key it's very exciting probably should have kept the uh earring out separate there's a few fish hooks in there all the crud that sits in the bottom of the ocean or the river yeah i don't know where the earring's gone but there's a leak oh we've got something this is off the pool now oh that's a big nail big bent nail and a piece of crud they can go in there so yes that's the find so far the uh big sign and the big pole were the the main things that we pulled out because they were all covered in fish hooks and everything so they'll be happy that they're no longer in the river let's see how we go all right we've uh managed to uh, come up with some more junk from the bottom of the ocean and uh, this one you might recognize maybe not that part if we go over here there's a wheel and there's a frame and there's a seat and somewhere we also had the uh, there it is the center pipe with the water bottle holder on it so apparently according to some people we're actually magnet fishing now because we've just pulled a bike up well what's left of a bike anyway and this the fishy guys will be happy with because that's a crab net in there you can see the crab net in there 
I can see fish hooks down in here, more fish hooks down over here. So they'll be happy that's out of there because they're probably sick of losing all their fish hooks and lures. There's a lure down there, you can see it hanging off there. Uh, that's the problem with having all this stuff here. This stuff may corrode away, but the problem is it gets all the fishing hooks and the fishing line trapped in it, and then that doesn't corrode away, and that just stays in the ocean, and then the fish end up getting stuck up with it all. And you can see that's where it's down in there. So we've managed to drag it from there all the way through and up to there, and we think there's still possibly more or another one down there so we're going after that one